Welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we got the Magnum rear inner structure cut out of the Magnum, got the charger ready for the inner structure. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm going to remove both quarter panels from the charger so I can gain access to the inner structure. Once I do that, I'll be able to start chopping the inner structure of the charger up so it will mate to the Magnum's inner structure. So there are a few similarities, like I said in the last video, between both of these cars. So I should be able to use both of these to my advantages and make it really, really safe. So let's get to work on this, get these quarter panels off and uh, start getting the inner structure from the Magnum, made it up to the charger.
improvement progress on the charger was able to remove both quarter panels in both outer wheel wells. The reason I removed the outer wheel wells, there actually are two reasons. And the first reason was the car was previously wrecked. It, uh, it went through the auction. I mean, I didn't expect it to be wrecked there, but the, uh, the passenger side quarter panel had about a quarter, quarter inch of body filler on it. And then it had some damage to the outer wheel well. So the second reason, and the most important reason, there is this big misconception on the internet. And I think it's a scenario of the blind leading the blind. A lot of people have been telling me, just order the flares, drill the holes, slap them onto your quarter panels, and you'll have a wide body. This is untrue. The reason why is the outer wheel wells, where this piece of rail and outer wheel well and structure actually is wider and so is a quarter panel. That makes sense because they put wider wheels, wider tires on the wide body. So once I have the new ones and I could put them onto the charger, it will go extremely well. And by that time, I'll already have the hatch and everything made it up to it. And uh, we'll just have to figure out what we're gonna do about a door frame. I didn't cut this with a Sawzall. This is how these rails come apart. If you look right here, they're just spot welded and stepped. They just slip in. It's a, a very nice repair. A lot of places will just section a rail in if they're damaged and just go from there. And uh, this is this is a, a proper repair. And I, I think I kind of have an OCD with repairing stuff. I want it to be really nice. And that's one of the reasons I haven't fixed my 240 yet is because I haven't been, been able to find a good front end to fix it with. So that being said, I have this skin off of the Magnum just uh, lined up right here. So it gives me an idea of what I need to cut, where I need to cut it and uh, so on. Decided to call it a day working on the Charger. I made a ton of progress on this car. As you guys saw, I pretty much had the rear of the car to the bare minimum. Now I'm grafting in the rear inner structure from the Magnum and it's going extremely well. It does look a little off right there. The reason why that is, is, and the reason why I'm actually not finishing this today was I ran out of batteries for my tools. So tomorrow I could come cut these all the way down on both sides. It will bring the hatch down. You can see that it's off a little bit. It needs to just come down. That will line up and then it needs to come forward a little bit. So I need to make sure everything butts up nice so when I weld it, it's nice and tight. And then I came and used the, I left these from the Magnum. These are for the seat belts. But the reason I left them also was because they locate everything nice like factory so these actually fit nice and tight and these wheel wells the inner wheel wells are the same shape as the magnum so they'll come down i'll plug weld them everything will be nice and located and then i'll just have to figure out where i'm going to graft everything else together i need to figure out where i'm going to cut these where i'm going to cut those and just kind of go from there and then when i have those up i'll have all of this grinded down and so it fits really nice weld it together and then we should be really, really in a good situation. So after I do that, all I'll have to wait for is for Dodge to figure out if they're gonna send me the wide body outer wheel wells and the wide body quarter panels and the rest of the wide body stuff so I can continue to finish this project because really that's all I'm waiting on. If I had those parts, I most likely could get this thing in high build primer over the weekend and a week later I should be able to get it painted. But since I don't have the parts, we're just kind of in this limbo situation again with Dodge and their parts um, department, and it's just not a good situation. So hopefully 
Dodge or somebody, you know, somebody sees this project, says they'll sell me the parts, get them to me right away, and then we can get this project on the way. I'm just really excited to get this thing done because I want to drive this thing around. A wide body charger Hellcat wagon is going to be so sick to drive. So I'm going to end the video here. If you like these videos, make sure to click the subscribe, but subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. If you know anybody that would be interested in this project, share it with them. I mean, I know a lot of people so far have seen it and they're really excited about it. So share it with anybody you think would like it. And as always, see you guys next time.